Salutations Nick Rookies, welcome back to another video and today we are going over some FNAF news but before we do that I want to say thank you guys so much for 137 subscribers, that means the world to me. Thank you guys very much for getting me here. Anyways, let's get into this amazing news. So if you go on scottgames.com, he released this new image of Vanessa. Um, and if you don't know who Vanessa is, Vanessa you see in FNAF VR, so, um, Help Wanted, where you after you beat the DLC, you get this mask of Vanessa. And it's really messed up as it is. But if you, here's a direct image of Scott Games. It says obey, and it's just a picture of her holding a knife. And it's really creepy. I think, personally, this is one of the creepier FNAF characters that Scott has made. Sure, we haven't seen a 3D model of it, but uh, so far, I really like what I see. Security Breach might be one of the best games that F um, FNAF has produced in a while. And I must say something, because I love all the games. Um, and also, there's an image that was released quite a while ago, but I also want to go over it just to give my opinion on it, of the female security guard that we might be playing as in, in Security Breach. And I'm really looking forward to it because we might actually be able to get, like, cutscenes this time. Imagine how cool that would be. A FNAF game that we'd be able to play and we finally get to see cutscenes to see who we're actually playing as, to see them progress as a story. And you never know. It might be a prequel to how Vanessa was made. This security guard might, could be Vanessa. We we don't know. A lot has is still yet to come, and you definitely know. I will be looking at it very intensely. Don't take that out of context. Anyways, so security breach looks like it's going to be amazing, as you can see from this image. There is four new characters. I don't know all of them, but I do know a Shamrock Freddy and Shamrock Chica and Roxanne the Wolf. So, um, so far the characters look really good and the 2D image that you see of them look amazing. I wouldn't change them at all. Um, and yeah, so I really am excited to see how Vanessa ties into this because this might be one of the better FNAF games and also I personally think that it could tie into from FNAF VR glitch trap or male hair let me see where after like it might be a cult after we defeated him in FNAF VR when he tried to merge with us I think it could be where it ended up failing but he is not dead because the shrine like this Vanessa person could be making a cult, could be making a shrine towards him. It's just a it's just a random small theory, but you never know. I think no matter what though, it, it she is connected to Glitz Trap somehow. And I think we will be at least getting to know that a little more in the new game Security Breach. I don't know when it's going to be releasing, but if you want to check out this image for yourself, head on over to scottgames.com and have a look for it for yourself. You will not regret it, trust me. All right, moving on from FNAF uh, VR and the new game from Security Breach, we are going to news about FNAF AR, and this is going to be really cool. So, we're gonna be getting a new character soon, and uh, the image was like at a circus when they released it on their official Twitter. So make sure you guys go follow FNAF AR's official Twitter so you'll be able to see all the updates and all the posts um, getting ready for new uh, uh, FNAF AR content and events. So personally, I think the new character, people have been speculating that it is Lefty or Ballora. I Either way, they're two really cool animatronics that'd be, we, that would work really well in FNAF AR and they'd be able to bring in something new to the table. So either way, it would be really cool to see them both. We might be able to get both, but you never know. Also, uh, Plus Trap is still is still isn't here. I'm not. I believe the time of recording this, he is not out, but he will be coming out soon. If you did not know, um, yeah. And I'm very excited to see how Plus Trap's gonna work. It might be like a fun with Plus Trap little mini game, like how like you have to go through this entire boss fight with RXQ. So that is all the FNAF news we have for today. I'm sorry for the short video, don't worry. A gameplay will be coming out tomorrow as well as a live stream. Also, make sure you check out my Twitch because that's also where I do very frequent live streams. 
I just wanted to get the FNAF news out of the way because I wanted to get my perspective on it before I became too old to review it. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this, um, make sure you guys leave a comment and like and subscribe um, to let me know that you guys would like to know more FNAF news. I will be covering it. All right. That's uh, going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And please consider joining the Nicker family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.